Happy Monday! Sorry we're a little bit late today. Uh, the kids' schedules are all messed up. It's the last day of summer school and just had, a, had touches of weirdness everywhere today. I put Audrey's shoes on and she's like, Mom, my shoe is bothering me. And I'm like, why is your shoe bothering you? I take it off and there's a Lego person, Lego minifigure in her shoe. And I'm like, Audrey, how did this person get in your shoe? She's like, I don't know, Mommy. I'm like, honey, no one else would put a Lego person in your shoe other than you. So, yeah, that was... <laughs> A touch of humor and strangeness for our morning. Uh, I'm guessing you're waiting on your challenge. Uh, it's It's been a recovery week. So for me, I want to go back to basics, okay? And when I talk basis, ba it's Monday, basics. When I talk basics, I'm talking about you, yourself, and you. Um, and what I mean by that is that I can feel the seasons changing. Okay, uh, most of us can. It's that touch of coolness from you know North Carolina, and being off routine for almost two weeks and having to jump back into it very quickly for the health and well-being of everybody else. So I want you to touch base with yourself. And last week we did the five and ten year review, kind of look back and see how you would feel about you. I want you to start thinking more about the future. I want to start with the season okay so one season from now is going to be winter we're going into fall so from fall to fall or fall, fall through fall what are your goals and then winter through winter what are your goals and then you know so I, I want you to think seasonally so for me I, I have a million things to do back to school for us starts next week so most of my to do's are very much implanted in this week and then things hopefully start to level out and, and clear out and I can get back to a routine um, so for me getting back into that healthy well-being routine is tremendous for fall winter things pick back up again um, we're talking about the holidays so there's gonna be a lot of things to do to accomplish um, you know I got the art co-op going making things for fall shows I have to schedule all of those shows for fall and through winter obviously um, so that's gonna be a, a tremendous goal and to do obviously we're not looking to make a million dollars we're looking to make some extra holiday money and see if we can do more shows in the spring and summer if it's a viable idea um, there are it's a whole lot of kind of upheaval recovering from this big mercury and uh, the end of the clip season and there's a whole lot of things winding up so what I want you to focus on for fall for you yourself and you is kind of closing things out uh, so for me personally I know just for me and the kids I have to start new folders something as simple as starting new folders for their school okay um, you know obviously every season I keep track of all their artwork I have it in little folders and all their pictures and all this stuff uh, I, I have to back up my stuff I got a million pictures from vacation I need to get better about backing up my technology um, I also need to get better about you know for us fall and winter is also birthday season big birthday season in our family um, my cousin's about to have baby in a month or but two two three two two months at this point um so there's there's a lot of things that are finishing up so for your idea of fall i want you to talk about finishing things that you've started for your idea of winter i want you to talk about your dreams and your future hopes and aspirations not only for next year but for the next season of your being um, so for me, that's certainly going to be focusing on learning new things and perhaps sharing the knowledge that I have. Uh, I've been thinking about doing video classes for forever and I just haven't. Uh, so for me, that really, that really is something that I will have to do a lot of searching into to see if it's something I really want to do, the technology, what platforms, like there's a whole lot of stuff. That, that I have to learn to make that a reality. Uh, there's a lot of volunteering stuff I've been doing um, locally. Uh, paranormal investigator thing has come back up, which is fantastic because a lot of us haven't been doing stuff just because we have families and you know, seasons change. So I would love to be able to renew that season of doing more paranormal investigation stuff and helping families. I haven't been able to do that 
uh, because the kids are so young and, and finding help with the kids is impossible. So I'd really like to be able to renew that uh, and come back a bigger, better person than I was before. Um, you know, just talking about growth. For me, I think the theme of next year is going to be growth. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to that. And what that means, I have no idea yet, but I'm getting there. Um, so just some ideas when thinking about you, yourself, and you, and focusing on goals and things for the season. So instead of like, it sounds so generic, six-month goals, three-month goals, one-year goals, think of it as seasonal goals, okay? So I want you to think of your fall seasonal goals, which is be pumpkin hunting and cleaning the house and fixing up the house for winter, planning a fall garden, and then your winter goals, maybe spending more time with family, drinking all the hot cocoa you can, seeing how many marshmallows you can stuff in your mouth at once, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be heavy duty stuff. I'd like you to dig deeper, but if you're kind of in recovery mode like me, uh, put some more meditation hours in this week and uh, dig. Okay, I love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. We are back. Woohoo! And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.